Today, I'm really happy to talk with you about guitar picks and using a variety and the benefits of using a lot of different guitar picks and also I will compare them, review them and so on. Now, in life, uh, we often find ourselves looking for the best, like an all-around best for a lot of different things. But uh, as it turns out, uh, for many different things in life, there isn't really a best, but only different right because everything is a trade-off everything has advantages and disadvantages pros and cons right so you really need a variety right so you can play differently uh, and get different tones right so um, this intro song uh, which I played Leroy my Clifton jazz telecaster on for the three uh, guitar riffs the first guitar line is a bassy line, so I use this Hoyer 1.5 millimeter balance shape with the grip, and it's made of acrylic material, so it's really comfortable and balanced to hold, and uh, it's really great. You know, uh, uh, bass guitar picks are usually in this shape; they're bigger and they're easier to grip. So yeah. Sometimes the grip uh, bites down on the string, which I don't really like, but if you play with this pick for a little while, you'll get used to it. And then um, Jim, Dun Jim Dunlop makes so many different uh, great guitar products, right? Especially picks or plectra, plectrum. Uh, so yeah, for the second uh, guitar part, uh, which is also just like a straightforward riff. I used the uh, Jazz 3 shape, purple color, 1.14. And these picks are made of a material uh, which is made to replicate the original tortoise guitar picks. That's why they have the turtle logo, because this material is supposed to most closely replicate the tonal properties of using actual turtle shell. Uh, it is possible to still buy like real actual turtle shell picks, um, but I read it doesn't really matter if you do that. So if you want to get like really expensive picks that are, you know, <laughs> real turtle shell, you can and try it. Why not? I even have tried. Um, some of these wooden picks, which are kind of nice. Um, I don't use them <laughs> very much, maybe every now and then. But the tone is totally different and unique. And uh, it's definitely a warmer, more natural feel with the wooden picks. Uh, good for riffs, riffing, you know, or maybe a bass line or a melodic line. Um, so, yeah. Um, for the bouncy kind of funky, bum, 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 that part of the song, the third guitar track, I used a 88.88 millimeter, the green color, and that's the Jazz 3 shape, but I also have it in the traditional classic bigger size. And of course, if it's bigger, it has a little more flex. And so if I want to play like a little rhythm sometimes you know and lead at the same time this is actually one of my favorite picks for that it's 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 well rounded you know so if i want to i can play a little bit of rhythm but it does get stuck so i have to be very loose how i hold it and how i uh, approach the rhythm 
I might even I, I might even want to angle it a little bit so it rolls off the strings and then I can go right into the and uh, I, I might you know hold it a little closer so it's a little stiff when you when you hold it there or I can just switch over to the jazz three shape so yeah um, it's nice to to really have a variety um, okay uh, please forgive the interruption but I need to tell you if you click on the link below you can get a free guitar and music making class so please feel free to get a free guitar and music making class with me just click on the link below and also I need to clarify that these jazz three picks that I'm telling you about there are different sizes actually of the jazz three and just to be crystal clear with you this is actually XL do you see the XL which stands for extra large so like this uh, jazz three let me put it on top so you can really see so just to clarify for you so that Kurt uh, Kurt or Kirk I think it's Kirk Kurt anyways I can't remember for sure but this Metallica pick as you can see this is like the regular jazz three shape which is really small and this is the XL so like I was telling you in the video this really small jazz pick uh, I I rub my knuckles a lot more than I would like whereas the XL jazz three pick is enough size that I don't hit my knuckles on the string so I I recommend you try the XL jazz three make sure it's the XL extra large jazz three all right not not the itty bitty one because you're going to be rubbing your knuckles and 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 you don't really have enough uh, grip area to really comfortably hold the pick you, there, there will just be like a little tip of the pick that you're holding on to it's not so nice really i don't know who plays with these teeny tiny little jazz picks but yeah the xl in my opinion is the way to go again uh if you want a free class, uh, I, I not only show you everything about playing the guitar, but also uh, basics of music production and also singing and songwriting. So, you know, check it out. When I'm playing Leroy, my um, Clifton Jazz Telecaster with the tremolo arm, it's nice to have the bigger pick because it allows me to rest my arm comfortably on the vibrato bar and then easily strum or pick out the notes and you know do the vibrato and I have the other Metallica pick as well which is the the singer and uh, that's his Metallica pick with the wolf and these picks are in the flow shape so it's like a mix between the traditional classic regular shape and the jazz three so it's rounded and um, wider um, in the grip area and i don't use these picks a lot and they're expensive so there's a 1.5 flow let me, so you can see the profile I use this one sometimes for riffing playing leads here's a 0.73 for rhythm playing it's nice it's chimey I do use it but it's getting stuck it's it's a little right 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 um, and I even have this gimmicky one 4.20 4.20 the green one is really beautiful actually because it's translucent but uh, I don't use it really I try to use it but <laughs> I still t 
it's just too thick really for me to really be useful it's got a nice beveled edge but uh, you can hear the attack of the pick on the strings can you hear it and it's hard it's hard to really you know all do alternate picking it's it's not easy at all but if you want that sound of the pick attack you could get something like that i also have this hoyer pick in the 3.0 and it's the same it has this kind of uh you know with the really heavy picks it's got that nice beveled edge it's acrylic but you can hear the pick attack sound which i don't really like however when you do the artificial harmonics hold on you have to make sure the grip part is not catching on the string did you hear it it's easier to get that artificial harmonic sound by the way this is Anna Lee that I got from Cebu guitar master and uh, finally after many many years of having Anna Lee um, she was properly set up at Tone Shack in Butuan yeah finally Tone Shack in Butuan uh, Ariel he, he professionally and properly set up Leroy my Clifton Jazz Telecaster and Anna Lee, uh, my guitar master, uh, Lapu Lapu Cebu guitar. So I and I'm playing the uh, Martin um, Silk and Steel strings, which which is great because you can do finger picking also. The strings are really soft, and even if you don't use your fingernails a lot, and y you know just the tips of your fingers. It's really nice for finger picking. <laughs> now, if I want to use a pick for the Pregio style, I might go with the 60 orange or the 73, right? We'll go with the 73. And I do have the Jazz 3 shape. Actually, I think I will go with the Jazz 3 shape because it's a little stiffer, a little more stubby, right? And let's just see what, what the Apregio is like with that. Okay, it's getting stuck. So I'm going to go a little, a little lighter. I'm going to try the 60. And then just naturally, because this pick is lighter and thinner, and uh, it's more well suited for rhythm playing, I would just naturally start playing more rhythmically, right? Now I know a lot of a lot of uh, guys nowadays are really into like riffing and shredding and heavy metal metal style. So this is the Jazz Three Black 1.35. It's not good for the rhythm. It gets stuck and the, the, the tone is not really so nice for rhythm playing. But if you want to do some riffing, yeah, it's good for that. I got the John Petrucci, whatever, one, two, it's 1 1.5. It's a different material. There's the John Petrucci. A lot of these picks are spendy. They're kind of expensive, right? But like Shakira said, uh, try everything, right? You really need to try everything if, if you know, <laughs> so you can have the possibilities, right? A variety of possibilities. So, yeah. I like the tone of this pick a lot, but I don't like the feel of it. For me, personally, the feel is... I just don't, I just don't uh, really um, get into that pick a lot. I do use it sometimes. Um, and so, yeah, I also tried these Flex 
peaks, which are supposed to be like a cross between the nylon Jim Dunlop peaks, right? This is like the peak that I used like forever and always, the point seventy three nylon Jim Dunlop peak, right? It's my this is the seventy three or the eighty eight. It's hard to see. Hold on. Yeah, I could tell actually because the sound is softer. This is actually the 88. So, because when I learned how to play, okay, here's the 60. You can hear it's thinner, the tone is thinner. But the 73, this is the, like the only pick that I thought existed, right? The Jim Dunlop Nylon 73, right? And I used this pick almost exclusively. Like it was the only pick my uncle, he taught me so much about music and playing the guitar and singing and performing. And we always used this 0.73 mil Jim Dunlop nylon. It's just really great. You can really play nice rhythms and uh, it does catch and stick a little bit, like when you're really, you know, you might want to go a little thinner, but, uh, and you can choke up on it and get some nice riffing as well. It's a nice semi all around pick, but the flex, I have it in the Jazz 3 shape and this is the 1.14 that's why it's purple just like the regular this is the regular jazz 3 dunlop uh 1.14 this is the flex 1.14 so it's a little softer and it's got a little more flex so it bends a little more easily i have the regular size too this is a 60 so it's really nice. So like I have the regular 60 and then I have the 60 flex. So this flex is supposed to be like a mix, right? Between the regular and the nylon. This flex is supposed to be like in the middle, right? Um, I always try these picks, but I never really use them in recording uh, as of yet. I may in the future, but it's just nice to hear all the different tonal possibilities, right? And you know, you can actually EQ with a pick um, just for fun. Here's a 2.0. Yeah, 2.0. <laughs> uh, so let's just see what we get here. So you can EQ or equalize or adjust the tone by where you play, right? Also, so if I play here, it's more trebly, right? If I play more up here, it's softer and warmer and more bassy. As I move, here is brighter. But the pick also, right? It, the thicker, uh, the more bassy it will be, right? So if I play, Let's go to my Hoyer 1.5, which is actually one of my favorites. You can hear it's brighter and more trebly. I also tried this Duralin 1.5, which is Diodario. It's like made out of like the same material as a rubber tire, I think really soft and and muted it's very muted i i haven't found a use for it yet but i may use it in the future because it does have that kind of flat tone you know found it okay here's my jim dunlop 46 46 millimeters, all right? And 
I thought when I saw this pick, I thought, ah, oh, he's going to be too thin. I'll never use it. It's only 0.46. But actually, is like one of my favorite picks for playing rhythm. Seriously. Ah. so nice but it's a little too thin to really get into the riffing so it's not really an all-around kind of pick but if, if it's just like straight rhythm oh I love it and I do have like the really super thin white nylon Jim Dunlops they're like super like paper thin so if you like want like really really you know really really dainty like delicate rhythms And it's like so easy to. <laughs> it's so light. It's it's cool. So yeah, those those are useful. I have like random picks, you know, like this one. It's like a Bruce Lee pick I got in Taiwan. It's like about a point seventy three. It's actually a great all around pick, and I do use it a lot. So yeah, it's, it, it's very versatile. It's, it's 0.73 is like a great kind of all-around pick, but I find the 0.73, it's a little too thin sometimes for riffing. That's why I do go to my 88 a lot. Yeah, I do go to the 88s a lot. And, and I, I try the 1.5. I know 1.5 is popular, but I find it's a little too stiff. For me and the tone, it's not as bright as I would like. So I tend to go with the 1.14 more because it does have a little give. I can get a little more rhythmic. It's not just the straight, you know. It's... It, I, I find this, I can be a little more spontaneous with it. I find that the 1.5 picks are a little more limiting of, of what I can express and do. Um, what else? Yeah, these. So here's another Jim Dunlop pick, right? They re they've really kind of dominated the, the plectrum market, haven't they? So these are the old techs. The old text. I have like every gauge. This is a 1.14. <laughs> but the tone of these picks is just like so clear and and wonderful, really. Um, I do use the 73. Here's the 73 Dunlop old text with the rhinoceros, right? With the horn. Yes. Yeah, here's the 73. It sticks a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's, sti it, it's sticky. The, the release is not so nice. But the tone... Yeah, it's, it's good. So there's that one. And yeah, back to the flow. So it's this one is translucent. It's another Jim Dunlop, but the grip. Look, look at how they designed the grip on this one. So this, I can't. I don't know if this is 73 or 88. It's really hard to see, but the tone is really nice. It's a little harsh, though. I think. Hold on. Let me make sure what this is. I believe this is 73. So let's just compare this one. With this one, the old text. I like the old text better, and it's cheaper. Um, let's go to the classic 73 nylon. It's 
softer. This go with the uh, regular 73. I really like the feel of this one. Let's go with the Jazz 3, 73. It's a little more muted and bassy, right? Even though it's still 73 because it's a different, you know, size. It's still the same thickness, but it's, it's smaller. So here's the Flex 73. The Flex, Flex 73. Oh, here's a black one millimeter flat, exactly one millimeter uh, Dunlop nylon black. I use it um, quite a bit. It's a little too sticky to really appreciate, but it's great for riffing and it's got good flex, it's got good bend. So you can um, bounce off of the strings really nicely. That, that one's cool. And I bought these like premium uh, celluloid, right? There's a thin, here's a medium. And I don't really use these a lot, even though like I think Jimi Hendrix uh, supposedly use celluloid picks. This is thin. Here's the medium. Eh, I, I'm not really getting into the tone. And I have like all of these really pretty celluloid picks, right? Um, and they come in different thicknesses. I, I, think, I think I bought like 50 at once and uh, I experimented with all of these like here's a thicker one white color it's, it's nice to play with them the tone is nice uh, and you can really I, they don't uh, print like what the thickness is so they're I don't think they're like if it's the cheaper ones like these I don't think uh, the thicknesses are consistent so you can really experiment and try to find the magic celluloid pick that is like the exact thickness that you want for that moment in time, right? To, to really express. This one is also kind of thick. And maybe you just want like something that's a certain color to look at, to like help you express what's, what you're in the mood for at that time. Yeah, so celluloid picks are fun, and, and I do use them. I think that's about it. Here's an, a newer version of the classic 73 Jim Dunlop nylon with a different funky kind of grip. I don't like it. I don't know why. I don't like the sound, and I don't like the feel of it, but I have it, and I tried it. So I think that's like a good breakdown of like the basic does it have to be Jim Dunlop no there are other brands um but yeah Jim Dunlop uh out of all the picks that I've tried this triangle pick it's three in one right it's like 50 73 and one and I do use this and it's big it's great you know uh, the bigger picks are great for like singer songwriters if you you don't have to look you know there's a lot more forgiveness because it's so big it's easy to grip and if I want to start riffing I can and then I can go, go into the rhythm this is the 50 right And then I, it's easy to, so this is, you know, 
really like literally an all-around pick, right? You have three different thicknesses. So this is a great pick to have. And I think the material is it's it's like a mix it's not the same uh tortex material it's a little different and yeah the feel all of these peaks have different feels like right some are like smooth and slippery others have like a powdery kind of slightly rough texture um uh, the nylon picks are different so it's nice to have the different feels the different tones the different uh flex patterns so yeah i i highly recommend getting a variety of picks and i hope this was helpful for you and uh be sure to click the link for a free guitar class and uh music production uh class yeah with me it's free just click on that link there uh i think this was much longer than i was planning for it to be but maybe i can edit it all right <laughs>